What are you doing? What are you doing? Athletics. First night in the hotel. We fly tomorrow morning. Are you excited? Very tired. You look so tired. <laughs> Seven twenty-five Canada time. We got up at seven twenty-three English time. Abby's feeling a bit tired, and has got <laughs> a double, a big, double big Mac. And what's the drink? Bright orange. Bright orange. Can I it's no, it is five o'clock. Five o'clock. It's five a.m. We're not doing English time anymore. It's five a.m. and I've been up since half three, and I watched a Breaking Bad. Abby's just woke up and she's dead cross. Why have I just woken up? <laughs> Why have I just woken up? Because I accidentally woke her up, and now and now she's got the jet lag and she's blaming me. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do when we're jet lagged today, Ab? So it's first morning of the holiday. It is 20 past 7 in the morning. We are, where are we driving to? Driving to Moraine Lake. See if it's very busy. And then, and then going to Johnston Canyon. Johnston Canyon. Very excited for the trip to begin. We're at Johnston Canyon. It's quite busy. Matthew is wearing his Seahawks cap. Come Seahawks! <laughs> he's just had an American couple shout, "Go Seahawks!" I'm, I i did not know what to do, so he's going to buy a new hat this afternoon. <laughs> What were your general feelings on Upper Falls and, and Lower Falls? Good waterfall, not quite big to gorge. Sunday afternoon, we've had a bit of a nap after that walk this morning and now we're in Banff. Just bought some things from Patagonia, that's new hat. Got a jumper from North Face. We're just enjoying this lovely view. Morning. This is the 
clouds today. Such beautiful mountains. 9.05 and we are just about to do the Lake O'Hara Trail. Let's see how it goes. It's 11 kilometers one way and it's up this kind of terrain. So we've just hit the two kilometre mark. The steady incline is not a steady incline. Spirits are, Spirits are still high. We're hoping to get the bus back, but we'll see. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Enjoying it. Lovely. Three kilometres. Abbey House Spirits. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm a bit scared of the bears. But I'm feeling good. The terrain's levelled out a bit now, so it's not as strenuous. And that, that kilometre went a lot quicker than the last one. Kilometre number four, it's got a little bit chilly. Abby's got a burger, so I've got my mountain hardware, go to the In dark citra now. <laughs> We've got some kind of views, just a little 360 of where we are. Seeing five. Seeing five. Just made number five. That one felt a little bit longer actually. That was quite a long one. But there's the picnic table. Hey, we're so we're halfway. Yeah. Yay. Halfway. Do you actually want to? Yeah. Okay. Seeing six. So the aim was to get to six kilometres before the bus left the main where the walk started. 10.24. 10.24, the bus leaves at six, at 10.30 and we've just reached mark six kilometres. Yes! So we're over halfway. The bus will probably go past us in about 10 minutes. And we're feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> So we've made it to seven before the bus, but it's just started really chucking it, chucking it down. Coats are on, visibility's not too good, and spirits are a little bit down. So just hoping, just hoping it clears. Number eight, 10.55. The bus came past us about 10 minutes ago at 10.44. The rain has made us, turn around. The rain covers are on. But there's now a bit of blue. Spirits are a bit higher. So we've got uh, three, kilometers. three kilometers, two and a half until we find, until we come to a bit of civilization. And then I think it'll just be a, a breeze until the end. Number nine. Number nine. My spirits are quite good. We've got two kilometers left. Abby spirits. She's struggling. She's struggling. It has been. It's been pretty uphill for the last, probably, the last kilometre. Um, I will just point out at this point, I don't know if I've said it already, but we're not just doing this one way. We're going back, so it's a 22 kilometre hike in total. Plus to walk up to the viewpoint. Which is about six kilometres, up so, a mountain. When we get to 10, we're nearly there. 10! So close. 10 point at halfway, halfway between 10 and 11. We, see actually people, like people and campsites, so we're nearly there. That one went quite quick actually, what do you think? So we've just had lunch, um, sat on a little, uh, looking past the lake, and now we are walking up to, what's it called? Oppervin. Oppervin Peak, Oppervin Plateau. Plateau. Oppervin Plateau to get a good look over over the harbour, so. So 
So we're on the trail up to the peak. Matt's having a bit of a fanboy moment because what, did, what does it feel like? Oh, from Morgan, from Red Dead. <sighs> Feels like he's in Red Dead. We're also trying to be nice and loud because it is very, very woody and we are very scared of bears. <laughs> Seems to be a bit of a recurring theme on this walk. So this is the official point of up in We're on our way back down. We had a bit of a moment where we got really lost. And we're supposed to be getting the bus back at 2.30, but it's now five past two, and we're still at the top of the mountain. And there's not a chance we're gonna get down in time to get on the bus. So it looks like it's an 11 kilometer hike back for us. But spirits are high. Spirits are high. Matt's just had a plaster put on his blister. And we're probably gonna hit 50,000 steps. So we're hitting all of the targets today. Feeling all right. Seven and a half. No, we've got about seven and a half to go. My spirit. What is your idea? I'm just going to get my spirits. Get my spirits high for the next third time. 4.34. We're nearly at number four. I can see number four. And we've got to, yeah, I can. And we've got to try and get there quicker than the bus. Got to try and beat the bus that left five minutes ago. That's a good challenge. And we've done it. Four kilometres to go. We beat the bus. Two more kilometres to go, 20 miles in for the day. So tired. We're nearly there. Finished. 5.27, it took us two hours back and we've walked for, this has been like an eight hour day, eight and a half hour day and we've walked for eight hours of it and 22, 23 miles. Well done Abby. So it's nearly seven o'clock in the morning. We tried to go to Moraine this morning but it was just too busy and the car was full. So we've come to the rooms and we're just sat waiting for the sun to come up. So we finished at Lake Louise, it's half past seven, and we just chanced it to try and get into Lake Moraine. Thought there was absolutely no chance that we'd get in, and we got in! Yay! You look very happy. Yeah, I am. So we're gonna go and see it. Hopefully there's loads of cars coming out now as well. So hopefully we'll have got it at just the right time and there won't be people there. That's it. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. We're done in Banff. We've just signed out of our hotel room. How are you feeling? Yeah, a bit sad actually. A bit sad. First leg of the holiday is over. But we're off to Jasper now and we're going down the parkway. The ice. The ice? What is it? Which is one of the most beautiful roads in the world. It's a UNESCO heritage site. 
So we're very excited for that, but a bit sad to be leaving our lovely first hotel, which was really nice. So we'll see how the journey goes. So here we are, the most nerve-wracking bit of the holiday so far. Gotta fill up the car with petrol and we haven't got a clue how it works. And by well, the looks of things, nobody else does either. Everyone's quite confused. I've just done some calculations, I don't know why I'm so excited about this. But unleaded fuel here is only 71 pence per litre. What? <laughs> and we're off onto the Icefields Parkway. Are you excited? Ah.
finished in Jasper. We've had three nights in Jasper and then we're gonna, and now we're headed back onto the Iceland Parkway, Icefield Parkway, and onto Golden. I used to be skinny and now look at me. <laughs> oh. I used to be skinny. I had one too many Tim Hortons and this was what happened to me. <laughs> two Tim Hortons. Two A&Ws. Pizza, pizzas, McDonald's. That one's Abby. That one's Dawson or Canute, and that one's Dawson or Canute. The question you ask is which one is the grizzly bear? That one, that one, or that grizzly one? I know what one's the most grizzly to look at. The final shop we went to was the most usual, where we got a white aero and some Johnny Archers. Now I'm going to do my whole video. There was nothing. Nothing at all. There was nothing at all. There was, there was stuff in Colombia. There was stuff, a couple of things in Colombia and there was a lovely Pascalia jacket which I didn't need. So my whole video is sparse. So Matthew has no idea how to work the telly in our hotel in Whistler and so this is what we have been watching for the whole last 24 hours just a scrolling through of everything that's on telly And after the steepest climb in existence, we're here. <laughs> 
Oh, you can't really see it. But you can see the blue, just there. <laughs> At the ferry port, got in a bit of a stress to get here as usual. We're here now. Do I do here, Jude? Do I put it in first gear? Do I leave my handbrake on? You okay?